Hello, my name is Darren Thomas. I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this class today, we're going to learn some of the details about how to add a graded item to the gradebook in Moodle. So I would just like to show you our objectives before we begin. So here are our goals. I'm going to show you how to add a graded item to the gradebook in Moodle. I'm going to show you how to input the score for that. I will show you some of the options for doing this, how to use the bulk insert and how to exclude features, I mean how to exclude items from Moodle. I'm also going to show you how to find the student's overall grade if you need that, if you need that information. And I will also show you how to delete a graded item from the gradebook. So why don't we get started? So here I'm already logged into my Moodle course. Um, and the first thing I want to do is I want to add a graded item to my gradebook. So I'm going to scroll down and off to the right hand side in this particular version of Moodle. I'm going to click right here on gradebook setup. And it takes me to this page. Now for those of you who have seen the, the how to add the grade category video, you know where these particular categories came from. So um, I have three different categories. I set these up in a prior video. A category for assignments, a category for tests, and a category for projects. How much each category is worth and down here at course total is how much the entire class is worth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a graded item to the assignment category. So to do that I scroll down here to the bottom and I click on add grade item. And so here, there's a whole lot of information, many things you don't really need to know if you're a beginner in Moodle. But of course, I have to give my item a name. So I'm going to call it example assignment. The ID number is not necessary. The value is up to you. Um, I'm sure if you've seen the video on scale, you know what that is. Text, I haven't dealt with text in any of my videos yet. And you can also use value. Value is just a point total. Um, so underneath that you have maximum grade the default value is 100 points I'm going to make my assignment worth 10 points that's what I'm going to do the grade to pass feature is very useful in particular if you have a large class this tells Moodle what is the minimum score that a student can get in order to, in order to pass the, uh, the particular assignment now any score above the minimum will be colored green in the grade book which is just a sign that hey you know these people did good on this assignment any score below the minimum will be colored red in the gradebook if you choose to use this feature. The grade display type is somewhat complicated, but it just gives you different options on how you can see the grade. Um, this is the default value that is set at the particular um, for this particular Moodle website, the real percentage. And one thing you do have to deal with is the parent category. At this particular part, you tell Moodle under what category to put the assignment. This is very, very important. If you don't select the category, Moodle will just throw the assignment in the gradebook outside of all the categories. And because Moodle is so flexible, it'll still calculate an overall grade, but it will not make sense in terms of the, the restraints you put on the gradebook. So you must make sure you always add a parent category. So I, like I already told you, I'm going to put this under the assignment parent, uh, under the assignment category. Once I've done that, I click Save Changes. And so now you can see I have my example assignment here. It's worth 10 points. This is the gradebook setup page. If I actually want to, um, you call it, insert an actual um, grade for this, I need to go to this drop box up here in the upper left, and I need to click on Single View. And it takes me to this page. Right now, this page is empty because I have not picked an assignment or a person. So to make this happen, I go over here to this drop box and I click on the name of the assignment, which is right here. Okay, so in this class, I have one student because it's a demo class for, for my videos. And I have several different things I need to do. First of all, it tells me the name of the student right here. It tells me the range that the assignment is in. Here I have a place to put the grade and I can also put feedback if I want. So I'm just going to put a score of eight. And if you want, you can also put feedback. So I'll just say good job. And when the student is when the student checks their grade book, they will see, of course, their grade and they will also see the feedback. Other features that are available, and I'll show you those to, to, to you in a minute. But what I need to do now is to save my progress, I click on the save button. And it tells me that grades were set for one item. I click continue. 
and then it brings me back to this page. Now, there are a few more things I want to show you on this page. One of the really nifty features here is the exclude checkbox right here. So if I click on exclude, this assignment will not count towards my demo student. This is highly flexible. So some assignments can apply towards some students and some assignments cannot, but they will all be in the same grade book. A reason you might want to you might want to use this is that if you're teaching like a blended class and maybe a student uh, misses the quiz or maybe they're on a field trip or whatever, you can use the exclude button so that that particular assignment will not count against the student. Of course, another option you can use is also um, not putting a score here. So if you leave this blank, Moodle will not use this particular assignment in determining the student's grade. Um, it all depends. Sometimes at the end of the semester, teachers like to um, leave out several assignments to help, you know, encourage to improve the grades and the exclude feature might come in handy as an example for that. Another useful feature is the bulk insert. So let's say I have several students who did not do an assignment. I don't want to have to waste my time putting a zero for each one as an example, or maybe it was a whole class activity and everybody got the same score. To use the bulk, um, to use the to, to perform a bulk insert, you, of course you click on this little box right here, the check box, and you have to tell Moodle what to insert for. So you can say for an empty grade or for all grades, whatever you want. So I'm going to pick empty grade and I'm going to tell it to insert a zero. So I do that, and it tells me one item was changed because there's one student student in the class. And then we go back and you can see right here that Moodle has put in a zero for me. And so now this assignment has a zero. But I'm going to change this again for demonstration purposes, make it a seven and click save just for fun. Now, the next thing that I would like to show you is how to find the student's overall grade. Again, like everything else with Moodle, there's several different choices. So I, for me, I like to click down here and go to user reports and then the next thing I like to do is, I don't know anything yet, it just shows me the grade book as it is, and I need to pick who I want to see. So I want to see my little demo student here, and it shows me their grades. So the student got a 7 or a 70% on the example assignment. That's out of, a, out of 10 points, so a 7 or a 70%. It tells me their overall grade, and then it also calculates the grade for the entire category. So the entire category, as you can see, is out of 35 points. 70% of 35 points is 24.5. And so if you scroll down to the bottom, it tells you their overall grade, which right now is a 70% because they got a 70% on the only assignment that's in the grade book. So that is the beauty of Moodle. You know not only how the student did on the assignment, you also know how they're doing by each category and also how they're doing in the entire course. Very, very beautiful. One last thing I would like to show you is how to delete, excuse me, how to delete an assignment. So to do that, we got to go back to our gradebook setup, which is available right here if I click on setup. And I want to get rid of my example assignment, so I'm going to click right here on edit and ask Moodle to delete. And then of course it asks me a second time and I say yes, I want to delete. So I click on yes and now the assignment is gone. So there you have it. In this particular video we learned several important things. We learned how to add graded items to move to the gradebook. We, we learned how to input the score into the, the gradebook. We also learned how to use the bulk insert and also how to use the exclude feature in Moodle. We also talked about how to find the overall grade and also how to, de to delete a graded item if necessary. One last thing that I need to mention is this. If you are teaching 100% online, you will probably not add graded items like this manually. Whenever you add an activity on, the, on your home page in Moodle, for example, a quiz, or if you do an assignment or a forum, those are automatically included in the gradebook. I will show you how to do that in a future video. The only reason you might use the grade item is if you're doing like a blended class where you actually see the students face to face. And for example, you might give them a traditional quiz on paper and pencil. You will, of course, take that quiz, mark it, and you will put their score in Moodle through using the add grade item because there's no, there's no other way for it to get into the system except that way. So for, for blended classes or for maybe perhaps some sort of an assignment that doesn't fit any of the different activities or modules in Moodle, you might choose to use the graded item um, feature in your Moodle course. 
So I hope that this video was helpful and I would like to thank you for listening. Take care.